Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 4 of my invasion series. So as you see, I cleared up the area quite a bit here, got rid of all those chests, and now we've got our small storage crates up, up and running here. Try to organize things just a little better, just so we have a better idea of where all our stuff is. So, organics and healing, uh, building materials, um, all miscellaneous uh, tools and stuff that go in here and then all of our metals and other stuff that uh, components and things like that. So today we said we were going to get our metal press up and running and that's what we're going to do. First things first, I don't want this guy grunting through the whole episode. So we're going to go out here and we're going to let him know that we don't really appreciate the grunting. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Come on up. Come on over here though. I guess it doesn't really matter where you go. Where are you? Make it easy for you. Right here. Thanks. Thanks for that. Alright, so we'll leave that stuff. We don't need anything from there. Okay, a couple of things we want to do today. First thing we want to do is we want to build our dog boots. Because we got all the materials last time for that. So, um, I've been eating spam out of a can too to, to stay alive. As you can see it in the bottom uh, right hand corner of the tooltip there. It doesn't give us much back, but still... I'm trying to get rid of it out of our inventory. So to make these dog boots, you need two slime balls. You need two pieces of redstone. You need our... Whoops, I'm doing this in the wrong order here. Hang on. Let's get this fixed. All right, regular, regular leather boots. Here we go. We didn't have any because we cut them all up. Then the dog stuff. And then the redstone stuff. And then this stuff. And there we go. Well, dog boots. Let's put them on. So these things are pretty darn cool. I'll show you upstairs what they do. Alright, so, so sprinting, super fast, yeah man, and then we got like a four block jump, so we can go down here now, notice we didn't take any damage, it's awesome, alright, this guy was like in the base here, it's a bit of a jerk, so now we can just mine this and then go boing, boing, and now we're over the wall, hooray! We didn't get a hooray for that, but good enough. Let's hit this guy. Boom. Nope. That drifted at the last second. There you go. Uh, okay, so we're going to put this stuff away. Now, the next thing we want to do is work on our metal press. So we need to get some energy going. So let's do... Uh, what are we doing here? String goes in here. Wait. No, string goes down here. Where did I put my string? Yeah, it's in here. Sorry. Resources. This can go here. These boots. Um, let's just put them in here for now. We're going to wear the dog boots pretty much all the time now, so we'll leave them on. All right, so we need some stuff. We're going to need a heavy engineering block. And we need a piston. Where are my pistons? -na 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 -na. I thought I had pistons in here. Where did they go? I don't know. I can't see them. Do we not have pistons? I thought we picked up some pistons when we were out. Maybe we didn't. Do I have to go build them? I have to build pistons. Why did I think we had pistons? Maybe because when I normally play this game, I always pick up pistons when I see them. That's probably why. Yeah, okay, we gotta make pistons too. We've only got 15 iron. This really sucks. I'll have to cook some up, I guess. Either that, or we just go out and get some drops, but I don't want to go do that. So... Steel ingots, let's do this here. We need scaffolding, so we need steel rods, and we need to put it like this, and then we need steel across the top for some scaffolding. We only need two of those. So let's put the steel away. The rods can go in here too, and then we can put the extra scaffolding. We only need two of those. And then we need to do conveyors, so we need two iron, one redstone and three leather not four but three so the redstone goes there right yeah conveyors if you're wondering why i know how to make these it's just because i've uh used these uh mod packs in other games that i've played other minecraft games so i'm pretty familiar with what i need uh some of the items i'm not sure or, or don't really remember how to build uh, there's like the, like, here we're going to type in redstone here. It's like a redstone engineering block we need. Uh, where are you here? Right here. So it's, see, it's four iron, copper, and four redstone. So we're just going to, well, we have to do it. 
We've got to do it, so let's just do it. Four of those and one copper. We got tons of copper. Too bad we can't make stuff out of that. Okay, this and this. So we need the redstone engineering block. We only need one. And then we want to do a piston, which means we're going to need a piece of iron, piece of redstone. We need wood planks. So where's our wood? Uh, let's get some wood planks. Are we out of wood already? I think we're out of wood already. I mean, I gotta go chop more. Really? I think we're out. I, yeah, you know what? It takes four chests to make one of these bloody wood storage crates. Plus, it takes a block of wood and a bunch of other wood. So I think I went ahead and used up all of my wood here. So let's just chop a tree real quick. And as Glock Nine would say, sustaining life. All right, going down here. And this can go in here. Yep. All right, let's chop some of this. Let's chop all this wood up, actually. We don't need these uh, logs. So once we make this piston, we should be able to... We're going to need to get a power source, too. So we're going to have to... We are going to have to bite the bullet and cook some iron up. And make that power source, unfortunately. Okay, so we got lots of wood. Uh, we need to make a piston, so we need cobblestone from the, this one. We need four. It's been a while since I've actually made a piston. I usually just pick them up in the world. So I believe it's like this, like this. And we'll use this up so we don't have two slots full. Oh, is it the other way around? No, please tell me I don't have to, like... Huh, did they change the recipe? That's the question. Um, I, I think they changed the recipe. So, piston, it is... Ah, it's an iron rod. Okay, well that would make sense. I think we can just make iron rods easily enough, but it's going to cost us more iron to do so. I think it's just two iron, if I remember correctly. It sure is. God, really? It's another iron down the drain. Alright. Whatever. So now I should be able to use this up like I did. There we go. There's our piston. So that goes in the top. This is the bottom. That's the middle. These are the two sides with these on top. And that would be it. And we need an engineer's hammer, which I don't think we have. We do. Okay, perfect. So we're going to put this um, back here, I think. So let's take this out. And we'll put it right here for now. Now I want to go down one. I like having it right on the floor. Take this out. All right, and then we'll go ahead and dig up this. Okay, so then we'll put this in, just because I don't think we'd ever have to worry about um, mobs getting down there and doing some nasty stuff, but you never know, right? So then we need to get this guy is going to go right here. And then, actually we can move the piston around. So we're going to do this. We're going to do this and this. I don't know if the, I think the piston has to be in the right position to do it. Yeah, it does. So it's got to be facing down. And then we just right click. What the hell? Hey. Oh, right. Oh, I'm missing the uh, these guys. And we want to have one going in and one coming out. And then we can do it. There we go. Got to hit the piston. All right, there we are. So there's our fabrication tool. Now we need to get power into this thing. Um, I think the best way to do it is just do a generator. We need to build one for a quest anyway, so let's figure out how much iron we're going to need for that. So let's go uh, furnace... Sorry, my keyboard's a little farther away than normal. Okay, furnace, uh, no, furnace generator. All right, so we need five, nine iron, a chest, and six redstone, and a furnace. I don't think we have a furnace, we don't. We do have a chest, we don't. We have to make everything. So six of these, gonna need two more iron, we don't have enough of 
Well, let's chop these up. We can probably get iron from these. So where's our engineer's wire cutter? So I always hang on to this, these cans. If you can do it, hang on to them because you can cut them up, right? With your engineer's wire cutters, which you kind of have to make for the second level of questing anyway. Then once you've done that, you can take them into here and use the scrap line. You can turn these into barbed wire later on if you want. A little expensive, but you can do it. But we can get iron from them right now, which will help us out. So we'll do that. We need to make a chest. Oh, we have some down here. We were save. Oh, that's right. We were saving this stuff to make another um, another one of these crates, but we don't need the crate right away. So let's just do this. So that. Um, so we need the chest and this and that for the casings, which we're only ever going to use one of pretty much, unless we have like more furnace generators going later on. We need to make a furnace. I don't think we will though. We're gonna run up power. We're gonna run power to everything, I think. So uh, we need a furnace. So let's make that. Okay. So we need this. We need this. We need that. And there's our power generation for now. So we can throw that up here. And now we can start making some iron plates that we're gonna need. So let's just check our quest book. See where we're at here. Uh, so we got five quests completed. Come on. Okay, we got one survivalist. What do we do here? Oh, the dog boots, right. Yeah. Mustard and tomato and some hot dogs, which is nice. Those things are great. Uh, scrapping. We got leather boots. Let's get our leather. We got a leather bag for that. That's kind of cool. And then we got three here. So we've got power cells. I'm going to take that as a reward. And cactus will claim that. And our turrets will claim that. So we got a potato turret now too. Potato to potato, tomato, tomato. All right, put this in there. Uh, what else can go in here? The one piece of iron, coal, leather. And the rest of this can go in organics. Hot dogs. See, these things are awesome. So great food if you can get it going. Uh, so put that in there. Uh, what else do we need here? That's it, I think. So now we're going to move on. going to do metal plates. We need four iron and four steel to make a metal plate. Uh, so there's one iron. Going to have to cook some up here. We're going to need more after this too. So four of those. So let's cook up our iron. Let's just put these in here. Use that. See, I don't use coal for these if I can avoid it. I just, I collect so many sticks. I just use sticks because they're easy to get and it's basically like just like free fuel. Save your coal for making coal coke or something. That's what I do. Um, so we're going to need more steel. So let's get some more coal coke going. Um, we'll just go with, uh, we can't, we don't have any iron. We got to wait. Actually, well, no, we can. Well, we got coal coke already, don't we? We got 36, so we don't need any more right now. All right, so there's our iron. So we need to make a mold, which I believe is steel on the outside and iron on the inside. No, the other way. Yep, always getting it backwards. There we go. So we got our metal press mold done. Now we get all the other molds and we get a piston. Hooray for that. I, that's right, I forgot we got that from the reward. Oh well. Not like we get our resources back. Okay, so now we need to make three iron plates, which is relatively simple. So we're going to drop these guys in here and this in here. We're going to take our plate mold and we're going to right click on this. And you can see it kind of adds it in down here. If it was up higher, you'd notice it, but it adds it in down there. Uh, we're going to grab um, treated wood planks. We're going to use these up. We're going to turn it into a shipping bin. Um, these things are great because they... Um, when you put stuff in them, like this, let's say, and you pick it up, it doesn't drop, and then wherever you go, it's still in there. So if you want to go out and explore, rather than having like backpacks for everything, you can have one backpack, depending on how secure you feel when you're out, one backpack and a bunch of these things. Problem is, is these, or these storage cranes don't auto-organize stuff, so um, it just puts it in the free most available slot so if you have a bunch of stuff in here let's say and you've got you know this one is blank space and then you have iron here and you drop iron in it'll put it in this blank space rather than stacking it 
So you have to be kind of aware of your inventory. But other than that, it's these things are great. Uh, you can carry them around in a backpack full of stuff. So um, that's that's pretty cool. So we'll put that there so that anything that we make here is going to go into here. We're going to grab our sticks for power, and we're going to we need three pieces of iron. Actually, we're going to do four because we need to make. We've got we're going to get four from the quest. We get four iron plates, but we need eight in total to do quests afterwards. So if you only make three, you're going to be short one. So we got to cook this up. Let's put this back in there for now. All right. So uh, from what I understand, this doesn't actually hold power. Um, it needs to be supplied a continuous stream of power. So I generally don't do anything until we're ready to actually do pressing and stuff. So we'll just hold off on that for a minute. Okay, so once we get the iron down, we can press it into plates. And we get our plates here. And once those plates are done, then we get a whole section of automation opening up down here. Now, binder composite, that's easy enough to make. Uh, we need to get some sand. We need two sand. We need five gravel. And we need two clay. So let's just break our clay down. Put two back in. Okay, so let's make the binder composite because we're going to need this anyway. So clay on top and bottom sand on the sides and then this isn't the actual same recipe as I'm used to but so we got eight binder composite take the iron out uh, so we're gonna need 16 of these do that get that cooking up so now we leave the um, iron in our hands and then while this is starting to go we just toss it on there and we got a cool animation it's not moving fluidly right now because it's not getting a steady stream of power, but that should be more than enough, those sticks, to give us enough power. Once that's done pressing and goes in the box, we can pull any other sticks out. Okay. Save some sticks. All right. Four plates. It's nice how that kind of goes right into the container. So we're going to go and claim our binder composite reward. We're going to need it to make... Um, uh, item conduits and we got this one let's manually detect it cool that was cut off that was disappointing all right now we got to make machine chassis and machine chassis if I remember uh, let's put this in here we're gonna need redstone we're gonna make two machine chassis so we're gonna need a couple of these um, we need gold nuggets so that's 11 we only need eight, I think. Yeah, we only need eight because we need to make capacitors. So you make a capacitor like this. We're making two here, so it's just doubling the recipe, but these are basic capacitors. So we need two of these. We're gonna need these plates and then we're gonna need iron bars. And I believe we picked up a whole ton of iron bars. We did. So we need eight of these. Okay, so let's make our machine chassis. We need two because we're making two machines here, and I'll show you in a second. And this eat this recipe only makes two, or only makes one, but we need to actually have two. And it doesn't give you one, unfortunately, so we got a double layer capacitor as a reward. All right, now we can make the sag mill, and we can make the alloy smelter. But in order to make each one of these, we need to have a machine chassis, which we now have. So, sag mill is going to require four iron. We're going to need eight iron, which we don't have. So we got to use this up again. It's really sad that we have to do this, but... Okay, we did our best. Got 16 of those, so eight goes in here. We need 16. So let's cook that up. We got to get more sticks upstairs anyway, so... Conduit binder. Now, we, I don't think we have vibrant alloy. I don't think we've seen any. We're going to have to make it which is fine. It's just like an iron and a, um, or sorry, pulsating iron. Iron and an ender pearl, which we have. If here Brian comes around again, we'll be able to get another ender pearl from him. You can sometimes get them from the drops too, the airdrops. So, all right. So we're going to need, um, where is, we're going to need three. We do need a piston for this though. So we do need a piston. So this is recipe one and recipe two. So we need a piston. 
We're going to need four iron, and we're going to need three of these guys for the sag mill. Then we need to make three furnaces oh, here. So three furnaces. We need a cauldron. I don't think we have one. Now we got to make one. That's another seven iron. God, really. Um, but that's fine, because we're going to hold off making this one. Oh, I should have just... Save it. I forgot. What we could do is, um, yeah, we do the sag mill first. So let's do that. Let's build the sag mill first. Because once that's built, we can start doubling our... There we go. All right. So sag mill goes in. I'm going to take this out of here because we need power for it. So we'll put the power here for now. We're going to move all this around, but we'll do this first. Uh, let's get some real... Great thing about the sag mill, let's use up all the acacia wood is the sag mill will hold its power once we break it and move it. It keeps all its its current power so we don't lose any power. This furnace does though. Even if you generate this to full, as soon as you break it to go move it, this power is all gone. So it's really annoying. That's why I like to charge these up. Okay, so the sag mill, we can now start breaking up all this stuff. Uh, it's a good thing I did it this way. We're going to get a ton of iron now. So if these things crit, we'll get four iron. Oh, wait, let's do this real quick. Infrastructure, open, complete, claim reward. Let's get those metal balls in there because they give us a much better chance to crit. Okay, we put this back in here. So when we put these guys in, you'll notice. So this should give us 102. Um, yeah, this should give us 102 iron. We'll get a lot more than that. We're slowly running out of power here. Now, I don't know how many we put in. I think we put in 21 of those, so we didn't get any crits. But that's fine. All right, so this is building up again. How much wood do we have left? Not much, so this is going to stop if we do that. So we can cook up the iron in here. Uh, we do have some wood left in here. Let's grab those for the sag mill. And let's drop these in. We'll see how far we can go. Let's go upstairs and get some more wood. So we are going to be like drowning in iron now, which is great. So like I said, it's just managing your... Uh, did we get both? We did. Just managing your resource and spending time knowing what needs to be done when. Um, so just plan ahead if you're actually doing this mod pack. Try and plan ahead as much as you can. Uh, let's get this last one. Keep forgetting how far we can jump with these boots. That's the only thing I don't like about the boots, though. There's no easy way to just kind of go up one level. You have to, like, jump and you jump four. Like, you can't just jump short jumps. Anyway, we got enough wood now. So let's go back down. Sustaining life. Alright, let's put this in here. And we'll chop up our wood. Okay, let's throw it in here. Um, actually, we want to do... Let's just do that for now. Put a bit in there, we'll get some of the iron going, because we do need the iron. Let's get this thing going. We want to get all of our iron out of here. But we're going to be putting that in our... Um, our uh, furnace. Or our uh, alloy smelter in a minute. So we just want to get a bit of iron so we can get this going. So we need seven to make a cauldron, and then another four. I don't know if they've made enough there. Let's take two more wood out of here. Three. Four wood out of there. Put it in here. That should give us enough. Okay. So this machine, we don't use it all that often. Uh, we will need it to make certain items, but for the most part, it's just going to sit here. The ally smelter and the sag mill, on the other hand, we'll be using a fair bit. Um... Just simply because we got so much stuff we want to break down. Uh, the next thing we want to break down is this guy. And we can get iron from the iron horse armor that we've collected. And the gold, we can get gold from the gold horse armor. Anything that's like full health, we can break down into individual pieces. In the sag mill, even the saddles and stuff, you can break them down. And you get a chance to crit too, so you can get double the amount back, right? So... 
This is still going. Actually, let's pull these guys out. Let's do that one. See how many diamonds we get back for this. Okay, we only got five. Sometimes you get ten. Uh, but we'll take five. I'm not going to argue with that. Okay, so we got to cook this up. Um, let's just put these away for now. We can do some more later. Alright, there's enough. So let's make our cauldron. So we need this. And we need... Oops. Three of these guys. One of these. I am so familiar with Ender IO. Alright, Ally Smelter. And we lost the uh, workbench. Sweet. Um... We don't need this now. Put that away. Let's grab another workbench. We're going to have to go out workbench hunting. So one thing we are short of. We haven't done a lot of uh, exploratory stuff right now. We got this one done. Let's just throw that there. I want to get these generating powers. So uh, let's just throw a bit of coal in for now. Let's get them having some power. So at least we can have some stuff going here. We got a little bit of iron. That's fine. Got a little bit made. Actually, let's put this down here. Put these in there for now. All right, so let's get that quest. Scrapping. What do we get for scrapping? Oh yeah, the cauldron. We get even more iron. Hooray! Uh, infrastructure. And we got this guy down. Alloys ahoy. Claim. Hooray! So now we can put the double layer capacitor in this guy. Just basically holds more power, makes things go faster. Yeah, we might as well sag these up so we don't have to put them in this slot. Uh, so, guns are blazing. We need 16 gunpowder. I don't even know if we've got 16, do we? We've got 21. Let's get that one done. Yeah! Hooray! Alright, we can put... Uh, airdrop goes in here. And... Gunpowder. So, we're going to make guns later on, but not right now. Upgrade your pipes. So item conduit, we need pulsating iron. So we're going to do that real quick. Get that quest done. Where did our iron go? It's down here. So that is just this and this. Let it go. And then we want to get power conduits going. So let's get need three of these and three redstone. Because eventually we're going to wire this place up. So we got pulsating iron. Drop those in for now. So pulsating iron, we need the nuggets. And then we need conduit binder which we do have a lot of now, or enough of anyway. So we need six of those. So conduit binder, pulsating iron, and there's our item and item conduits. So we can move things from one place to another. Hooray! So that's done. Uh, so let's see if we got, yeah, so automation is now opened up so we can make a sawmill. That's generally not too hard to make. New settlement, this is if we're want to, wanting to build a settlement. That's going to be way more difficult, so we're going to tackle that later on in the series. I think before we go too much farther, though, we're going to need to go out and gather some resources. Um, we are getting behind on um, a few of our things. We need ender pearls. Um, I want to go out and just, we need, we, we need way more crafting tables. Definitely going to need more crafting tables, so we're going to have to go get some of those. Um, we're going through them pretty quick. We went through a few to build this building, but now we're kind of safe in here. So, okay, we got that. And we got the iron here. Let's put it in here. And we need to get, uh, let's do this. This isn't a quest, but, so conduit, power conduit is three conduit, uh, sorry, conductive iron and conduit binder. And it gives you energy conduit, which will be able to tra uh, transport RF. We're going to get a windmill up and running. It's not going to be in this episode. We need to get our farm up and running first so we can get some industrial hemp because I want to build a big windmill. I have no idea what time of day it is. Let's go out and check. The rain stopped now. Uh, we're going to put our quest book in here and our spam in here. We've got bread. Do we have any other better food than bread? I don't think we do. We're going to have to... Maybe that will be the next episode is getting a farm up and running. That's probably the best way to go. Yeah, I think so. We'll get a farm up and running next episode. I gotta decide where it's gonna go though. It's probably gonna go out here. I'm gonna have to level this down. I'll probably make a bridge across and then just make a like a big greenhouse building in here. We could just let stuff grow in. Then whenever we want to go over, we can just walk over and grab stuff. At some point I think I want to knock this hill down too. At least to the top of this level. So like 
what one two three four five six seven maybe eight levels so this will have to come down so it's going to be a bit of work i'll probably just do that off camera obviously because you guys don't want to watch that so yeah sun's going down so what i'm going to do probably uh, for the next little bit is i will go out since we got all this stuff up and running i'm going to go out and just shovel some stuff um, now that we can get away from mobs and that uh, I'm gonna go out and start clearing some of the land and then in the morning when we come back uh, we'll head out on a mission to go grab some stuff um, so yeah I'm just gonna just do this off camera because you don't want to see me digging dirt and gravel for the next little bit and avoiding mobs um, but when we come back, like I said, we'll go out and we'll look for crafting tables. All right, so see you in a bit. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so it was a bit of an evening. Not that hard, really, but a bit painful. We got attacked by the bear when we were outside. Got out of that relatively unscathed, which is good. And I can't find my magical tether now. Which is a problem. Did we have a magical tether? Have we found one yet? Maybe we didn't find one. Why am I thinking? I don't see it. Maybe we didn't find one yet. Which is problematic. Alright, well, I think we'll be okay. I got a lot of stuff. I took some stuff with us. I got a couple of backpacks. Um, I got some extra healing. So we should be okay. Uh, let's have a look at the map. See where we're going to want to go here. So... We could go down to the village, but I don't think so. I think I want to go out this way. Um, we can just kind of speed along here, jump across the river, head over this way, see what we can find. Uh, it is extremely quiet at this location, which is why I love being here now. Um, and of course, as I say that, we got a lot of spawns. Let's see if we can get some health off these guys. There we go. And a little bit of extra experience for our weapon. So I made some stone bolts. So we have those just in case. Yeah, this these boots are terrible for just like going up one block, but they're great for ha like wanting to cross a river or something. So watch this. Boom. Don't have to worry about the fish now, which is awesome. Going to get hungry real fast. I didn't bring enough food, I don't think, but I'm hoping we find stuff out here. Oop, thought that was a screamer there for a second, but he vanished. Okay, so we're just going to wander a bit. I want to see if we can collect some bones. I'm not going to look at those right now. Uh, the airdrops aren't really that, like a big necessity. Yeah, oftentimes they'll just take damage for no reason. And you got to watch, watch out for not running into a hole. Okay, now there's a chest. There'll be chests over there. Just want to find some buildings. Um, let's go across here. Well, I didn't quite make it. Great thing about being able to jump like this is the fish can't really get you. As long as you're jumping, you're okay. Oh, now I gotta go across the water again. All right, there's nothing major that we need to get. I like to find a magical tether. If we, if we can, yeah, try not to land like that deep in the water because that can get you killed. Well, not killed. Ah, not killed, but what's up, buddy? Wow. Lag. That was some major ass lag. Picking up some bones for bone meal. Better eat something here. Okay, keep our crossbow out. So there's plenty of, like, stone and stuff around. So that's one bonus thing. You guys got anything good for me? Yeah, I'll take the sticks. He goes, yeah. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think gates actually hold out bad guys. Here's a chest. And let's grab... Oh, there's a magical tether there. I'm sure we found one. Sharpness 5, yeah. We don't need that for leather. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's... Yeah, there's some beds up here. I'm going to take a bed. 
Spawn has been set. Oh shit, really? It can't be set because... Oh well. Oh, well, we better set it there. So if we're not running home... <sighs> at least we'll be coming back to here. Which isn't too far from home. I mean, it's like a half day's run. Dogs! You can avoid dogs really well in this. Crossbow's leveled up. So we're going to set the level for that. Do we have anything else around us? we got a guy over here. Let's hit L for level on the crossbow. And we're going to take Frost. Great thing about Frost is it has a chance to um, freeze your opponent still. So if you're fighting like a bear up close and you got your crossbow out, you can just basically like freeze his ass in place. It's funny how I introduced the series as being like tons of mobs and there's like nothing right now. I think it really depends on where you're at. I've noticed some areas for some reason have way more mobs than others. All right, yell out if you see a chest. That's the, one of the other things that I'm not finding here right now is the chests. Ah, shit. See what I mean about not making it up that jump? Ah. Doge. Doge. Alright, how many bolts do we have? 40. Let's just do this, just to make sure. You never know. Okay, that tree over there. For Christ's sake. How does that happen? I guess it can't be perfect. Let's see if we can get some help back from this guy. Nope. Okay, we're going to go across here. Ow. There we go. Well, we don't always get our health back, but whatever we can get, we'll take. Once again, taking damage from something imaginary. What's up, you guys? How are you doing today? I like you for who you are. All right, what do we got? A couple of these. Another crafting table. Torch. Doges. We're going underneath that tree. There's a base under there. So most landmarks that you find... Yeah, see, now we're starting to see these guys come out. I killed off the rats just in case nighttime comes. So under here... Oh, good goad. You stole it from somewhere, probably. That rat took off. So under, yeah, sun's going down. Sun's getting real low, big guy. Yeah, I like them spawn like crazy now. All right, where is the entrance? There, I know there's a base under here. Is it just not open anymore? Unless I'm wrong. Huh. Well, yeah, I don't know. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. That guy had to have got that gold from somewhere. Yeah, the mobs are spawning now. I think it might just depend on... Like, I think they spawn more around points of interest. And I know if you're using a crafting table, they'll start to spawn. What's up, guys? Not fighting all you guys. We'll just avoid them. All right. Whoa, drone! What's up, buddy? These guys are worth killing. You can sometimes get iron and redstone off them. Also, there's another... Um, like a titanium blend you can get. 
I don't see that that often, but you do get it. That's just a hill, it looks like. I want to find a building to hold up in tonight. It's not like it takes forever to fortify. Like, if we can find a village, that would be perfect. Okay, most important thing. Workbench. Take the gold. Take this. Take this, this, this. This. Is that a... I don't know what building that is. Loving these boots. Loving these boots. Staying alive. Staying alive, drone. Asshole. I need to get some health back. You guys got some health for me? No? Anything? Nothing? Now this place can be a death trap if you're not careful. He's in the house. Well. Alright. God, I always find this guy so hard to hit. Alright, we want to do uh, this for a second because we don't want bad guys in here. All right, not much here. Uh, what can we ditch? We don't need that. Let's grab some of this. These guys are gonna start showing up. Barrels, hey, these are kind of cool. Got some soda, we're gonna drink that. Cola. I like my cola. That didn't help all that much. All right, let's get these guys in here. So depending on how industrious you are, uh, you could carry a few beds with you and drop them down. Let's get this stuff up here first. Here we go. You can drop them down as you go and use your tether to come back to them and then just run back to your home when you need to. So you've always got a waypoint to, that you can go back to. Yeah, we're stuck here for the night, I think. So we're going to do this and this. Take these barrels, because why not? They're kind of cool looking. We'll use them for probably for the, uh, what's it called? Stuff. The stuffs. The stuffy stuffs. Let's make some more bolts. Uh, half a stack, probably. Well... Might as well do it this way. If we're gonna have bolts, we might as well have bolts. All right, so I'm gonna last out the night here, guys, and in the morning, we'll get out. Uh, if anything crazy happens, I'll log back in, but I'm gonna try and get some experience for my sword tonight. Um, we should be okay. I don't think we're gonna die in here. Um, let's have a look at the map. Is there any good points of interest? The only thing I don't like is the map doesn't kind of follow you around. Um, so we're going to head north. We're going to try and find some villages and stuff. We only found that one earlier, very first episode. But I think we're going to head north, see if we can find some villages. Look at them all spawning now. See if we can find some villages up here. we got to get some more workbenches. we got three already, but I want to try and get another five or six more. Uh, we could take these. Nice shelving. Yeah. All right, so I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're back. The sun's up. Done some good killing tonight. Got a little bit of things. Wasn't too, too many bad guys. There was a lot on the map, but not a lot of them came near us. So that's fine. Better for us. All right, we're getting out of here today. Heard a screamer out here, but I haven't seen him. Around somewhere. The doge. We're going to head north today. Good thing about these boots is we can just blast out of here and not even have to worry about these guys. See ya. Well, we don't run off into a, like a hole. We should be fine. Now we could cross over there and grab some of that stuff for uh, making stone bolts with, but we were really on the lookout for, yeah, day 14. It's just gonna get harder. That's a bear.
See what I mean? These things are like harder than the bear because they're so damn small. There's another one. I think there is. Can't get in there. I can't get in there. Yep, 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 yep. Good enough. Let's get out of here. Actually, let's take this too. And this. We need more food. Now that place has got stuff in it. Hi oh, there's here, Brian. What's up, buddy? I got some speed too now, you know that? Cheater. Hey, big boy. We're going to start encountering these guys now. These big boys here. Ow. Jump. Sword. What's up, guys? Yeah, that'll save me for a bit. Stone bolts. Might as well grab it while I'm here. I'm going to have to kill the guys down below anyway. I made lots of uh, crossbow bolts last night. So we're good with crossbow bolts. I just want to get these for stone ones. These guys are just waiting for me down there. Take care of this problem now. That's the, the giggle guy is the big guy. He's down here too somewhere. Come on, Doges, where are you? It's gotten a little bit harder, not much harder. But they will be getting a lot harder soon enough. Give it 14 days. So we're going to want to get out here. Rapid fire. All right, mischief managed. We just need to find food. So someone was in this building grabbing stuff. How do we get in here? There we go. So we really want the workbench first. Iron, iron, take another magical tether. Let's do this first. Shoot. That's why you want to take freeze as the next one. Is if you can pin these guys in place, all the better. Oh good, we got some food. Take one more of these. Just in case. I like having a backup because if we're out here and we die. Uh yeah, we can put that in there for now. Put that in there for now then we want to be able to at least have another one when we come out to try and get our stuff. Anything else in here we want? Well, let's take an extra. Might as well. That's a ship. We don't want to go over there. Well, here's the coastline. This is usually the first place I'll look to build a house. It's on a coast. Um, so if you build like along the coastline here somewhere, uh, you're better off. It's just like, I mean, we're in a good, pretty good spot now. So, ah, crap, I missed the jump. How did I miss the jump? Um, don't get me wrong. We're in a pretty good spot and, you know, we're in a pretty good defensible position. But, um, if you can make it along a, like a water coast like this, you're better off. Like, just build, up, like, out in a, like, over there, for instance, that would be a perfect place to build a base. We're going to pop a few of these if we can. It's a little quieter over here. Not much, but a little bit. Lag. Ass lag. 
I don't know why we're lagging. I'm not doing anything in the background. Okay, we got him. It's probably loading stuff. What is that? Oh, we know where we're going next. We know where we're going next. See those tumbleweeds moving at fast speed? They were just trying to catch up. All right, let's eat a couple pieces of bread. But you can see right here, like everything that's spawning is fish, right? So if you can build like, like we have, like, we, I mean, we're in a pretty good area. I don't know why I'm saying build here, but it is a little bit better. <clears throat> Cocoa beans, sure, why not? We can always ditch them if we don't want them. Come on. Oh yeah, diamonds. Diamonds are my best friend. Well, not really. Iron is your best friend in this game. Diamonds are nice and definitely usable later on. But you can get them through diamond horse armor. You don't really need them in drops. I mean, it's nice to have diamond tools earlier if you can get them, but they're not really... Re Ow. It's got to stop happening. Not really required. There's a lot of stuff over here. That's like another fort. What's up, guys? Wow. Holy lag, Batman. Okay, cool. Chests. It's just because we're moving so fast. The game is trying to load stuff as we go here. And I got a fast machine too, so. Yeah, it's fine. Suits in this house. Don't think we're going to find much in here, but it's always good to just check because sometimes you find a good workbench here, but not today. Some more barrels. Cola? Yeah, cola. Taking barrels for aesthetics. My house is pretty utilitarian right now, but definitely want to have some aesthetic value to it later on. There was a abandoned building over here. Oh, Temple to Notch. Oh, there's a video, uh, village. So I'm going to have to get some uh, leather stuff here. I'm going to have to make another backpack. I'm going to have to make another backpack. So let's pick up the rotten leather. I heard you, rat. Where are you? It's not nighttime, so I'm not worried. Don't have room for anything. I can leave this behind. Well, we don't really need this. I want cocoa? I don't know. I'm gonna raid this place. Let's just put some stuff. If we can get some stuff into the backpacks. That would be great. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot we can put in there. But in here, there is. An asshole drone. Oh, come on. I hate those things. Last thing you want to hear is a charging bear. Let's get rid of this guy and that guy. We get some health back here. Come on, please. Health. Health me. Jerk. What's up, guys? Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, we want to go in here. Grab these. I like these things for lighting. They don't cause fires. I lost that one. This is just full of notch books, which we don't want. Where'd it go? There's one. Just get whatever we can. We'll get out of here. Let's get over to that village. Oh, rotten flesh. Take that. Take that. Can't really pick those up. Don't really care. Don't really care. We need to find a place to sleep tonight.
shouldn't be a problem in this town. Raiders have gotten harder, so some of them will, might want to break stuff down. At tier 2, you, uh, you can sometimes get them uh, breaking shit down. Uh, where's the best place to go? Windmill? Maybe top of the church? We have... We've got wood blocks. Guess that'll be enough. What's up, midget? Thanks for the free stuff. Um, gotta make a decision. They're gonna loot the hell out of this place. Let's go in here. Alright, we'll go in here. Good enough. Decision made. See what we can loot out of here. Not really anything there. Crafting tables, oh yeah. Take them. Eh, uh, maybe. Maybe not. There's another freaking screamer out there. Crafting tables. Let's put these guys down up here. So they can't make their way up that way. We're gonna probably want to get out of here soon. Don't think we're gonna make a backpack. I think we're just gonna oh wait we got this one too still this is my uh yeah this is my storage for potential stuff all right so let's just grab some stuff out of here we'll magic we'll magic tether probably in the morning um let's grab the books you can always use extra books because we don't have very many of them right now uh grab these guys and these guys and then we're just gonna hold up here until the morning and we'll make a break for it. Well, we'll magic tether in the morning. We're going to lose health when we do that. So I don't want to go ahead and tether out of here right away. Let's take an extra one of those. We'll tether out in the morning when there will be less people where we're going. Uh, I mean, we could make a backpack. we got to loot this village in the morning. Uh, I don't know. Do we want to make a backpack? Well, we can put these guys away. A couple things here. So the workbenches. 13 of them now. Pretty good. Is there anything in here we don't want? Oh, bones can go in there. We do want the bones. Uh, we want to bone meal that hemp when we get back. Rotten flesh. We can put these guys in there. Uh, we do want to keep these because we want to make another one of these if we can. Uh, bear meat we can hang on to. String we don't necessarily need. So these two can go probably. I want to hold these for, for uh, stone bolts. Yeah, jungle wood. That can probably go too. Alright, so we're going to hold on to these. If we need to ditch them, we can. Uh, we'll hold on to them. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright guys, welcome back to the morning of day 15. The sun is slowly rising. I kind of got up on the roof here. I've been just shooting these guys. Trying to keep the village as safe as possible. But they did a short... They, These guys made short work of the villagers. They're pretty much all gone now. Not much I can really do about that. Uh, at a certain point, they're just so dangerous that it's like... Yeah, there's nothing we can do. I've been trying to kill this doge down here too. Hey, what's up? A couple of guys down here looking at me. They're going to be bothering me when I go downstairs. So I want to try and kill them now. Some of them are trying to nerve pull up, but there was a dog down here too. Oh, my crossbow still went up to level 5. Nice. Yeah, these guys looted a chest or something down here. Alright, see if we can get down. Find that dog. I hear you. I know you're down here. Where'd you go, though? Like, there's, like, lots of guys killing villagers in this town. I made a 
crap ton more arrows last night. You put the armor on, you jerk. So we got lots of guys coming in now. It's like piranhas to the friggin' feast here. Alright, well, we just bite the bullet and go down and fight this dog, I guess. Here you are. And I missed. And I missed again. I don't know why I worry so much about those guys. Let's grab the armor. Bones are good. Alright, there's a chest over here we want to grab. And a workbench. Now we burn it down. Take those two, take that. What's in here? They probably grab stuff out of here. Oh yeah, obsidian, take that, take the legs, take this, take this, take the bread, take that. Okay, good. What are you doing? Hitting somebody. Let's finish looting this place. What else do we got? I killed a lot of guys down here. Thanks for the free heart. These boots allow you to go so many places you normally couldn't get to. Um, Alright, so let's just do... Sticks can go there. What can we get away here? I don't think there's anything that... A couple things can we can put away. We don't want that. We don't want that. We decided we weren't going to take them, so let's get rid of those. Now, I don't think any of this stuff can fit. Because I don't think we've got doubles of any of this stuff now. All right, no big deal. Just hang on to all that. Gonna wanna make some bolts in a minute. Um, sticks, please, thank you. So this place. Workbench. Don't need the furnaces. Uh, let's take the potatoes. I want to plant them. I might as well plant some carrots too. I mean, this would be good food. Yeah. So this is... Got chest, diamonds. I'm only going to grab stuff that we can really want here. Uh, okay, dead end. Normally there's another end to this. But I guess it's buried under here. Screamer. Wonder where he is. Wish we had found this place earlier. Uh okay. Anything? I know we got iron in one of these. Yep. So we can pick up a couple more things here. We don't need I don't think we need any more of these. I grab oh another chest. No, I don't want the lever. Thank you. How that would be priority, I don't know. Okay, so let's put it's this one, right? That's got the uh of course it doesn't. Crafting benches. Okay, I think we're pretty much good here. Yeah, I watched them go in this place and kill the people in here last night. Well, nothing I could do about it. I killed a few of them, but there was too many of them. I think that's it. There's another building down there. That's the one with all the paper in it. Oh, shut up. There you are. So annoying. I should not have put the uh, bones away. I watched these little baby horses kill a guy last night, though. That was hilarious. There we go. Stay up here. Oh, man. It's way different than playing regular Minecraft. You just got to be more careful about everything. Keep the bones out. OK. 
Okay. I think we go over to the paper building and then we bail. That's got a lot of books in it. I think we'll grab the books. Jump, 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 jump. We got books already, but we want more. I want to build a uh, enchanting table sooner rather than later, I think. Uh, now we do have... Come on. Don't lag on me. Don't lag. It would be a bad time to lag. Oh, wait. Are they in here? No. Here? Yes. Okay. Books, books, books. Here we go. Get a few more here before we go. Come on. Michael, let me pick that one up. It's underneath, eh? Oh, another crafting table. That figures. All right, well, we're going to bail anyway. Here we go. Boom. All right, now we're back here. And we're somehow trapped on the bed because that's a thing. There we go. And our magical tether is still there. So we're going to make our way home. We should have enough time to get there. And then we'll call it an episode. Bing. Home is this way. Uh, yeah. This way. Wary of the landmarks. Ah, really? Slow on the jump. We're not fighting anything. We're just going right home. Unless we can get health from someone like this. Nope. Oh, shoot. Ugh. That could have been so much worse. Alright, almost home. Not grabbing anything. We don't have space for anything. Alright, so this is... Yeah, you know, our base is actually a pretty good location, I think. Very few guys will spawn here. Now, we do have some torches. Let's get these out. All right, we got seven, so let's hit F7 here. Find out where we want to put them. One up here, I think. That's the way we usually leave our base. One here. Let's move. Ah, oh, let's just put one down there. Oh, so there's still stuff here from before. Um this one back right so I cleared a lot of that last night not a ton there so we can do some building so I cleared a lot of this back um, and we're probably going to take it down one more level just to make it flush with this it's going to require a lot of shoveling to do but I'll probably do that off camera because uh, shoveling is really really boring and let's get up here yeah, our trees are growing again. Nice. So we're going to put this stuff away and end the episode here. I uh, hope you liked it. If you did, drop a like. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please be free to subscribe. Also, put, you can put any comments in the comments section down below. Also, questions about the invasion pack, things like that. Um, we did get a fair bit done today. We got all our machine tools. We didn't get our turrets built, but that's okay. We're going to do that. Well, we got, we got them built, but we don't have them up and running yet. Uh, we want to get them up with another one of these furnace generators outside. Um, just so they can shoot mobs when we're not uh, uh, when we're in here doing stuff. We don't have to actually go out and fight them. Um, but I don't know. I think I'll save those turrets for the um, the uh, greenhouse that we're going to build, or our basically our plant house that we're going to build outside. Um, I'll save the turrets for that um, because I don't plan on putting a roof on it. So I want to be able to have turrets just to defend. So we'll do that. All right. So that'll be next episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a like, like I said. Um, and until next time, we'll see you later.